G'day ladies and gentlemen, legends of the highest regard, and welcome back to our Grand Theft Auto Nostalgia series, episode 5 here, Grand Theft Auto 3. Episode 5? I think it's episode 5. Well that would be a little bit awkward if it was, uh... Anyway, I guess I'll find that out when I'm editing this. Whoops. Oh well. Anyway, let's, uh... In the last episode we met, uh... Tony Cipriani. And we also uh, grabbed a police heist van, or a police, um, what you call it, the fucking, the things that you get the money in, the money transport vans, whatever they're called, grappy shooks or whatever, you know, yeah, anyway, those things. So, um, let's see what mischief we get up to in this episode. Oh yeah, I've got a uh, Mafia Sentinel in my garage. So... We can go see Tony, or we can go see Joey, or we can, uh, play with the ringing phone. Actually, hmm, I'm wondering, might, uh, might go answer that phone with that crazed bloke on the other end. Get out of my way. Yeah, yeah, honk your fucking horn at me. Oh. Oh, whoops. Yeah, jump into my car. Good idea, mate. Yep, very smart. Oh, shit. Is he going to come after me? No, he's just running away. Okay, that was fucking weird. Get out of the way, pimp man. Yep, jump into my car. Another one of crazy fucks. Alright, let's answer this phone. Turismo. This is El Poro on the Diablos. You are new in Liberty, but already you are gaining a reputation on the streets. There is a street race starting by the old school hall near the Callahan Bridge. Get yourself some wheels, and first through all the checkpoints wins the prize. I see. Well, I'll drive the Mafia Sentinel because it's it's not slow. Oh, I don't know. What if I did hit you? Like, what are you gonna do? Call the cops? Like, come at me, bro. I don't know where the fuck I'm going, but um, there's no one heading in the general direction of a pink dot. Pink square. Whoop, nearly took out the builder bloke. Oh, that's not the. Um, oh, shit. Really? That's my competition? Right. Probably not going to win this, but anyway, that'll do. Let's go. There we go, that was good. Sorry, old man. It's alright, you didn't have much life left in you anyway. Try and embody my uh, truck racing skill. I'll try not to embody my BMMG skill because, well, that was diabolical. Jesus. Get out of my fucking way. Right, turn the corner here. Keep your eyes on the road. Whoops. Can't see over my bonnet, but that's okay. Whoa, that was not fantastic. Somebody should tell my car that smoking is bad for it. Through the gap. Not through the gap. Okay. Well, still managed to be in first place despite this. Sorry, lady. Bit of blood on the tyres never hurt anyone. Is it down this one? It is down this one. Get out of my way, taxi. Yeah, fuck off. There we go. Still somehow managed to be in first place. Whoops. Clipped you on the way past. Sorry, mate. 
Um, insurance will cover that one, Mr. and the Bobcat. I'll, uh, I won't organise anyone, so you'll have to sort that out yourself. My bad. I'm just a very busy man. Oh, we're on the wrong side of the road. Oh well. Thread the needle, there we go. Beautifully done. Right, round this corner. Another checkpoint. Sorry about your truck, mate. Oh, this has been surprisingly easy considering the vehicles I was up against and the vehicle I'm in, but anyway. Good for the suspension. Through the other checkpoint. Come on, how long is this fucking race? Oh. Game of chicken. An accidental game of chicken. Oh well. Just another uh, citizen that was probably at the end of their life anyway. Not a big deal. Hopefully it has a nice memorial though. Whoa. That was not brilliant. Okay, anyway. My car's a bit, um, a bit fucked up. I'm not gonna lie. Did somebody just shoot at me? Why, because I won a race? Oh, fucking snowflakes. Oh yeah, now there's that phone that's ringing as well. So we'll make this a uh, phony episode. The Crook. Well, that's me. The name's Chocks. Marty Chocks. I run the bitch and dog food factory around the corner. I got money troubles, but hey, who doesn't, right? I'm meeting my bank manager later. He's a crooked bastard that keeps bumping up the loan repayment so he can cut a slice. Take my car, pick him up, and bring him back here. I got a little surprise for that blood-sucking leech. That's, um, you know, not to be, uh, obvious or anything, but I don't think they're going to have a nice, friendly conversation. What the fuck is this car? It's on the other side of the wall. Of course it is. <sighs> Come on, Claude, then. Let's go for a hundred meter sprint. Usain Bolt, eat your heart out. Whoops, that's a wall. Thank you. That's your car? Fuck me, mate. You own a bloody business. Why do you own the same car as my grandmother? Hello? Open? Yep. Cool. Ooh, that's the police. Okay. Let's... Jeez, who abandoned just a random black car in the middle of the road? What a prick. This has got no balls. Gutless piece of shit. There we go. Get a bank manager. Oh, Mr. Chunk sent you, did he? Let's go and pay the fellow a visit. Yes, let's. I'm pretty sure it's going to be your last visit as well. But, uh, you know, I'm just. I'm not a betting man, but just the feeling of the conversation that was had was not, um, positive. Jeez, the old men in this game have this fucking death wish. Watch it. No, you fucking watch it, mate. I'll come back there and I'll club the shit out of you or maybe I'll put a bullet in you. Roll up, roll up to the greatest show in history. You're gonna be turned into dog food, mate. Have a good one. Get your hands off me, up, There we go. Now I know why he's got shit cars, because I have to go and crush it. Ah, that makes a lot more sense. I too would drive a perennial wagon if I 
if its main objective in life was to be crushed, because that's basically all these things deserve. That's the wrong way. Oh, more police. Oh shit, that was, um... Yeah. Pretty sure I didn't hit that car, but anyway. Physics. 2001 physics. Out of my oh shit, nearly lost control. Music make me lose control. Music make me lose control. Yep, acapella right here, ladies and gentlemen. Next, uh, the next big acapella thing. Oh, corner ring. Whoops, I missed the entrance. It's over here. Well, there's no suspension left in this car now anyway, but that's alright. Crushing time. Yes, get out of the car, really. thousand dollars for kill it for helping to or being an accessory to murder and crushing a car fair enough works I guess so let's uh, let's mix it up a little <clears throat> let's uh, let's do another job <coughs> <coughs> I do not have COVID that's just a random cough now yeah, I can't get that. Oh well. I'll take another perennial wagon. Do I get to uh, crush this one? Hopefully. So we're going to go back to the phone, seeing as that seems to be the theme of this uh, episode, is answering random uh, phone calls. Which is perfectly safe and not weird in any way, shape or form. Ice cream, you scream? I started my exotic entertainment business with nothing but the sizable contents of my leather band. That's fucked. A gang of no-goods has threatened to remove my starring member if I don't pay them a cut. They threatened the wrong man, amigo. They have a weakness for the ice cream. Pick up the bomb I've hidden in hardwood, hijack the regular ice cream van on its rounds, and lure these fools to their doom with the jingly jingly. They hide in a warehouse on Atlantic Key. Fair enough. Pick up the briefcase. That's not suspect or anything. You answered a random payphone to somebody who has not identified themselves and they've told you to go pick up a random briefcase which may or may not have a bomb in it. And then you are to transport random said briefcase with potential bomb just around casually yeah okay you know I would really be questioning my life choices at this point ah, beautiful just slowly destruct the perennial because as we've already learnt that's exactly what these vehicles deserve Go. Love it how that doesn't even phase the gang bloke. He's just like, what? Just hit. Oh well. Get on with my life. Oh. There's an ice cream van. Give me some of that lactosey goodness. Hey, no problem, right? Yeah, no problem at all. Get the fuck out of that ice cream van, Mr. Wookie. 
I'm gonna get some. Okay, come on. Catch me then. On foot. I've got your ice cream van. You you run really, really fast, mate. Really fast. I promise I'll drive nice and slow for you. You're oh well. It was him who murdered him, not me. I had nothing to do with it. What? The car's got a dent in the back? Oh. It must have already been there. No, no, my ice cream van has no damage, officer, I promise. It's just, you don't think it's my ice cream van? Oh, I can assure you it is. This ice cream van drives better than the fucking perennial wagon. Down we go. Right, now how the fuck do I get into that compound over here, probably? The... Oh my god, that's a cop. That's not suspect. Through the cones, yeah, just shatter the cones, sure, that's realistic. Press the L button to activate the ice cream jingle. What button am I using? There we go. Okay. Well, that was, um... That's basically a demonstration, ladies and gentlemen, on what happens if you give a lactose-free person ice cream. I've got an itch. It's, uh... Pretty realistic, actually. Damn police. Oh, a bit, you know, just a few body parts here and there. Oh, a bit of cash. Cash money. Go. We've got $73,000 from killing people. Well, that's a pretty decent business then. Maybe I should stop YouTubing and start crime. That was a joke. Alright, I need a car to get home. Anybody want to give me a car? Need a ride. Nope. There's absolutely no cars in Liberty City right now, which makes no sense. Okay, sounds like there's a car following me. There is a car following me. Well, you've no longer got this car. Leave me alone. I'd say sorry, but I'm not. Bobcat's got a bit of a uh, get up and boogie. Whoop, nearly lost control. And, oh my god, that was skillful. We'll call it skillful. I meant to do that. Whoa, shit, what the hell did I hit then? New, uh, another new car for the garage. Perfect. And now, ladies and gentlemen, and legends of the highest regard, that does bring us to the end of this episode of the Grand Theft Auto 3 Nostalgia Series. A slightly longer episode, um, today, just to, you know, change things up a bit. Be a bit, uh, you know, oh, that fucking hurt. Be a bit uh, spontaneous, you know, keep you all guessing. Not really, I just felt like doing an extra mission. But um, if you did enjoy that video, please consider uh, liking and subscribing. And if you do have any suggestions on how I can improve the content, please drop a comment below. I do read everyone's comments and it's uh, much appreciated, the feedback. I do take it all on board. But uh, until the next video, wherever you are in the world, look after yourselves, stay safe, stay well, don't do anyone I wouldn't do, and I will see you awesome, awesome people in the next video. Cheers.